screen readers, windows. In this chapter, we will discuss screen readers using the Microsoft Windows Operating System version 10. Please note that Microsoft updates and changes its operating system from time to time, so your screen or set of functionalities might look slightly different to the ones described in this course. The Microsoft Windows built-in screen reader is called Narrator. Narrator is a lightweight screen reader that reads dialog boxes and window controls in a number of the more basic applications for Windows. Microsoft recommends that people with visual impairments use a full-function screen reader for general computer use. Let's try Narrator. The fastest way to get to the Narrator settings is to press the Windows, Control, and N keys. This opens the Settings app directly in Settings, Ease of Access, Narrator. You can also navigate the same path with the mouse. Activate the switch to enable Windows Narrator. If you like, you can activate a keyboard shortcut to activate Narrator via the keyboard. Starting Narrator After you enable Narrator, the Quick Start window opens, which gives you a brief description of how to use Narrator and introduces some functions and commands to get you started. Narrator Quick Start, Heading Level 1 Welcome to Narrator Quick Start one of 13. This guide shows you the basics of using Narrator. Narrator reads aloud what's on your screen so you can use that information to navigate your PC. To turn it on or off, press and hold the Windows logo key, then press Ctrl and Enter. It will pop up every time you start Narrator unless you click the checkbox. To silence Narrator at any point, press the Ctrl key. Every page in this guide will be. To close the Quick Start window, press the Alt and F4 key. Settings window, Use Narrator, On, Use Narrator to read and interact with your device, Toggle switch. Narrator works in different modes. The simplest mode for navigation and reading is the scan mode. Turn it on or off using Narrator and the space bar. Scan off. Scan. In scan mode, we use the down and up arrow keys to navigate to the next or previous item. Checked allow the shortcut key to start narrator checkbox. Press the Windows logo key plus Ctrl plus Enter to turn narrator on or off. Learn narrator basics with quick start. Link. Learn how to use narrator. Link. Heading Level 2. Choose when to start Narrator. When using the right or left arrow keys, Narrator will read the next or previous character. A. R. R. A. T. Tango. Use the Tab and arrow keys to navigate between interactive controls, such as buttons, checkboxes, and links. Press Enter to activate or deactivate buttons, checkboxes, and links. Uncheck Start Narrator after sign-in checkbox. Uncheck Start Narrator before sign-in for everyone checkbox. Checked. Unchecked. Heading Level 2. Sync Settings. Use Current Settings before sign-in. Button. Personalize narrator's voice, choose a voice, Microsoft David, English, United States, combo box, collapsed. Microsoft David, English, United States, 1 of 5, selected. Microsoft Zira, English, United States, 2 of 5, non-selected. Microsoft David, English, United States, 1 of 5, selected. Choose a voice, Microsoft David, English, United States, combo box, collapsed. Learn how to add more voices, link, change voice speed, slider at 9, tool tip, 
9, current value, 9, minimum value 0, maximum value 20. To change the slider values, press the spacebar to increase the value or shift and the spacebar to decrease the value. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Learn how to add more voices. Link. Choose a voice. Microsoft David. English. United States. Combo box. Collapse. Learn how to add more voices. Link. Change voice speed. Slider at 14. Tool tip. 4. 13. Current 12. 11. 10. 9. Then use keyboard commands such as D for the next landmark or H for the next heading. Use the keyboard commands with Shift to reverse the direction. Narrator selected. Requires selection contains 12 items. Navigation landmark. 0% vertically scrolled. Search landmark. No previous landmark. Narrator selected. Requires selection contains 12 items. Navigation landmark. 0% vertically scrolled. Main landmark. Narrator. Heading level 1. Use narrator. Heading level 2. You can configure several settings for Narrator. Turn on the shortcut to launch Narrator. Start and stop Narrator by pressing the Windows key, Control and Enter. Choose when to start Narrator, heading level 2. Start Narrator after sign-in. Start Narrator automatically when you sign in to your PC. Start Narrator before sign-in for everyone. Narrator runs on your PC before anyone signs in. Sync Settings, Heading Level 2 Personalize Narrator's Voice, Heading Level 2 Choose a voice. Choose from the different narrator voices available in your language. Speed, Control the speed at which narrator speaks. Pitch, Adjust the pitch of the narrator voice. Volume, Adjust the volume at which the narrator voice speaks. Select Narrator Audio Output Device. Narrator lets you choose your default audio device. There are many more settings. Please feel free to experiment with them to see if they can enhance your user experience. Languages. Narrator is available in many European languages. In this English version of Windows, Narrator comes bundled with a voice in English. If we need more languages, then we need to install them. To install additional languages, enter Settings, Time and Language, Language. Click the option to add a language. A dialog box will open that allows you to select one or more additional languages. Languages that have a text-to-speech voice available have a narrator icon next to them. Choose a language that has a text-to-speech voice available and select Next. Please note that the new voices need to be downloaded from the Internet. Depending on the number of voices you select and the speed of your Internet connection, it might take some time to download the data. You can configure the default voice in Time and Language, Text-to-Speech. Narrator versus non-visual desktop access. Although Narrator gets better with each Windows update, it is still limited in functionality. The non-visual desktop access NVDA screen reader is a more powerful alternative and it is available for free. Please note that the voices we install for Narrator can also be used by the NVDA screen reader. Non-visual desktop access NVDA is a free and open-source screen reader for Microsoft Windows. It is currently the most popular screen reader in the world. It can use the voices bundled with Microsoft Windows. Voices for additional languages can be bought from third-party suppliers. To download NVDA, visit the NV Access website at www.nvaccess.org. The link is below the video. Click Download.
You can make a donation to support the development of this project. We will skip the donation for this demonstration. Before you leave the website, make sure you read the user guide. You can find it under Get Help. Free user guide. After the download has finished, you can start the installer. Which will start a temporary copy of NVDA to support an audio based installation. Follow the installation steps as advised. NVDA Dialog, License Agreement Grouping, License Agreement Edit Read Only Multi Line, NVDA License. I agree checkbox not checked Alt plus A. Space, checked. Install NVDA on this computer button Alt plus I. Sp install NVDA Dialog to install NVDA to your hard drive, please press the Continue button. Options Grouping. Use NVDA on the Windows Logon screen checkbox checked Alt plus L. Space. Not checked. Create Desktop Icon and Shortcut Key. Control plus Alt plus N. Check bo Continue button Alt plus C. Install. Installing NVDA dialog please wait while NVDA is being installed. Installing NVDA. Installing NVDA. Success dialog successfully installed NVDA. Please press OK to start the installed copy. OK button. Inst Once we have installed NVDA, we can start it either by pressing Ctrl, Alt and N keys or by choosing NVDA from the NVDA menu under Programs in the Start menu. Loading NVDA Welcome to NVDA Dialog. Welcome to NVDA. When NVDA starts, you will hear a set of tones indicating the program has started successfully. On first program start, a dialog box will open which provides you with some basic information about the NVDA modifier key and the NVDA menu. Most commands for controlling NVDA require you to hold down the NVDA key while pressing other keys. By default, the numpad insert and main insert keys may both be used as the NVDA key. You can also configure NVDA to use the caps lock as the NVDA key. Press NVDA plus N at any time to activate the NVDA menu. From this menu, you can configure NVDA, get help, and access other NVDA functions. Most keyboard commands consist of pressing the NVDA modifier key in combination with other keys. By default, the numeric keypad insert and extended insert keys are set as NVDA modifier keys. You can use the caps lock key too. NVDA has many different configuration options. A few of these options can be set when the starting dialog opens. Op use caps lock as an NVDA modifier key checkbox not checked Alt plus U. Automatically start NVDA after I log on to Windows checkbox not checked Alt plus A. Show this dialog when NVDA starts checkbox checked Alt plus S. OK button. Sp desktop list, recycle bin not selected one of four. Other options can be configured using the NVDA menu. To get to the NVDA menu from anywhere in Windows, press NVDA and the N key on the keyboard. You can now navigate the menu using the arrow keys. NVDA menu. Preferences sub menu P. Settings. S. NVDA Settings, General, Normal Configuration, Dialog, Categories, List, General 1 of 12, Speech 2 of 12. Use the Tab key to switch between interactive controls. Use the Space Bar to activate or deactivate a checkbox. We cannot review every detail of the configuration. Let's just look into Speech.
Speech Property Page, Synthesizer Grouping, Synthesizer Edit Read Only Multi-Line Alt Plus S, Windows 1 Core Voices. Change. Voice, Combo Box Microsoft David Collapsed Alt Plus V. Here we can configure which voice should be used by default and the rate and pitch at which the text should be read. Microsoft Header. Microsoft Zira. Microsoft Katya. Microsoft Julie. Microsoft Mark. Microsoft Paul. Rate, slider 50 Alt plus R. Rate boost checkbox not checked Alt plus T. Pitch, slider 50 Alt plus P. Volume, slider 100 Alt plus O. By default, the volume of the screen reader output is set to maximum. You can lower this value. 90. 70, 60, 58, 50, 75, 7, 89, 90. Automatic language switching, when supported, checkbox checked. When working with documents that offer content in multiple languages, the automatic language switching might be helpful for reading texts in the correct language. Please note that you have to have a corresponding voice installed for each language you want to use. Automatic dialect switching, when supported, checkbox not checked. Punctuation slash symbol level, combo box sum collapsed alt plus L. Trust voices language when processing characters and symbols checkbox checked. Include Unicode consortium data, including emoji, when processing characters and symbols checkbox checked. Other parameters make it possible to fine-tune the way texts are read, for example, the punctuation or emoji characters. Feel free to experiment with the other options to test whether they improve your user experience. Some basic NVDA commands. Press NVDA and arrow down to start reading from the current position. Press the control key to stop speech. Press the shift key to pause or continue speech where it left off. For single key navigation, press D or shift D to reach the next or previous landmark. Press H or shift H to reach the next or previous heading. Press G or shift G for the next or previous graphic. Press T or Shift T for the next or previous table. Press L or Shift L for the next or previous list. For text navigation, you can use the numbers on the numeric keypad. Press 9 or 7 for the next or previous line, 6 or 4 for the next or previous word, 3 or 1 for the next or previous character. Press F6 or F4 to reach the next or previous object of a window. To quit NVDA, press NVDA and the Q key. Reading a web page. NVDA is an excellent tool to test a web page for accessibility. NVDA works with Firefox, Chrome, and Internet Explorer. For our example, we will use the Firefox web browser. After loading the web page, we would like to start reading the page. To start reading from the current position, press NVDA and the down arrow. Graphic collage of original illustrations from Alice Tick's Adventures in Wonderland, comma, drawn by John Tenniel. Search landmark enter a keyword for full text search and press return edit has auto complete. Function navigation menu navigation landmark link a small size text link a medium size text link a large size this gives us a lot of navigation information, but we would like to read the real content of the page. When a web page is designed with accessibility in mind, it offers landmarks. Landmarks collect multiple items of a web page into a functional group. For example, a banner area, a footer, a navigation block, or the content. We can press the D key to navigate from landmark to landmark. Main Content Navigation Menu Navigation Landmark List with 4 Items Lewis Carroll Link The Content of the Page Main Landmark Introduction Heading Level 1 
Content Info Landmark Content Info Landmark Copyright Text Extracts by Wikipedia If we press the Shift and D, we can reach the previous landmark. The content of the page main landmark introduction heading level 1. We would like to continue reading here, so we press NVDA and the down arrow. Main content navigation menu navigation landmark list with four items Lewis Carroll link. Link Lewis Carroll. Link about Alice. List with three items link introduction. Link Alice tick s adventures in Wonderland. Link through the looking glass out of list. Link resources. Link history out. As you can hear, the screen reader tells us about the list structure, such as how many items there are in the list, and when we enter or leave the list. This also works for nested lists. Typical content begins with a heading. So we press the H key for headings. Introduction Heading Level 1 We jump to the first heading. We press it again to jump to the next heading. Main Characters Heading Level 2 Language Test Heading Level 2 NVDA tells us about the heading and its level, so we can get an idea of the structure of the document. To go back, we press Shift and H. Main Characters Heading Level 2 Introduction Heading Level 1 We jump to the next graphic by pressing G. Figure Alice in the Shower of Cards. Dot. Graphic Figure the white rabbit blowing his trumpet. Dot. Graphic. Figure Alice in the shower of cards. Dot. Graphic. As we can hear, the image has an alternative image description, which can be read by the screen reader. Let's check how NVDA presents a table. Main characters heading level 2. Heading level 2 main characters. Table with five rows and two columns. A table with some characters of the novel. Dot. Row one, column one, name. Column two, description. Row two, name. Column one, Alice. Description, column two, Alice is a child in the mid Victorian era. Dot. Alice unintentionally goes on an underground adventure after accidentally falling down a rabbit hole into Wonderland. Dot. Row three, name. Column one, the White Rabbit. Description column 2 The white rabbit appears at the very beginning of the book, comma, wearing a waistcoat, comma, and muttering, quote, Oh dear, bang. Oh dear, bang. I shall be too late, bang. Quote, dot. Row 4 Name column 1 The Hatter. NVDA informs us about the structure of the table, such as how many rows and columns it has. If the table offers an alternative description, NVDA will read this for us. As you can see, there are navigation commands to jump between headings using the H key, landmarks using the D key, tables using the T key, lists using the L key, and so forth. Please consult the user guide for more keyboard combinations. To get a quick overview of the structure of this document, we can press NVDA and F7. Elements list dialog. Tree view. History 13 of 13 level 0. A dialog box will open, presenting the elements list with links, headings, form fields, buttons, and landmarks. We can use the elements list to navigate directly to any of these elements. Type colon, grouping, links radio button checked alt plus k. Headings radio button checked alt plus h. Form fields radio button checked alt plus F. Buttons radio button checked alt plus B. Landmarks radio button checked alt plus D. Buttons radio button checked alt plus B. Form fields radio button checked alt plus F. Headings radio button checked alt plus H. Tree view. Level 1 main characters 1 of 2. Level 0 Introduction Expanded 1 of 1 Access Introduction Heading Level 1 Sometimes we want to navigate within a text to check single words or even characters. Let's try to jump from line to line using the numbers 7 and 9 on the numeric keypad. 
Please note that if your keyboard does not have a numeric keypad, configure NVDA to use the laptop keyboard layout. You can have the same functionality using different keyboard commands. Figure graphic Alice in the shower of cards. Out of figure Alice tick s adventures in Wonderland left paren, commonly shortened to Alice in Wonderland right paren, is an 1865 novel. Written by English author Lewis Carroll left paren, the pseudonym of Charles Dodgson right paren, dot. It tells of a young Alice tick s adventures in Wonderland left paren, commonly shortened to Alice in Wonderland right paren, is an 1865 novel. Now we would like to jump from word to word using the numbers 4 and 6 on the numeric keypad. Adventures in Wonderland Left paren, commonly Wonderland in Adventures Using the numbers 1 and 3 in the numeric keypad, we can read a word character by character. D V E N T N E V D A Let's try to read a multilingual text. Main characters heading level 2. Language test heading level 2. The following lines are all in different languages. Heading level 2 language test. List with three items bullet this is a paragraph in English. Dot. Aufzählungszeichen das ist ein Absatz in deutscher Sprache. Punkt. Plus ceci est un paragraphe en français. Point. The NVDA screen reader recognizes the different languages and uses the correct voice for each list item. Please note that you need to have a corresponding voice for each language installed. Reading a PDF We open a PDF document in Acrobat Reader to read. Press F6 to navigate between the different function blocks until you reach your document. Home button Toolbar Star this file button. Navigation pane grouping. Page thumbnails button. Document 1 slash 3. Heading level 1 Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Press NVDA and the down arrow to start reading the document from its current position. Heading level 1 Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, commonly shortened to Alice in Wonderland, is an 1865 novel written by English mathematician Charles Lutwich Dodgson under the You can navigate within the document by pressing the H key to go from heading to heading. You can go back by pressing Shift and H. Table of characters heading level 2. Titles in other languages heading level 2. Synopsis heading level 2. Titles in other languages heading level 2. Table of characters heading level 2. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland heading level 1. This is the same key we use to navigate within a web page. The other keys we used might work too, so let's try jumping to a graphic with a G key. Alice holding a bottle labeled Drink Me Graphic. This works. As we have heard, images can have alternative descriptions in PDFs too, which eases the understanding for people with visual impairments. Now we navigate between lists with the L key and tables with the T key. List with three items English title, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Table with three rows and three columns row one column one position. As you can see, there are a lot of similarities when it comes to navigating web pages and PDFs. Let's try to bring up an elements list with NVDA and F7. Elements list dialog, tree view, www.aliceinwonderland.net one of one level zero. 
Voila! We now have an overview of all the links and headings, which we can use for navigation. Type, grouping, links radio button checked alt plus K. Headings radio button checked alt plus H. Tree view, level 2 here comes another table 2 of 13. Chapter 1, down the rabbit hole 1 of 13 level 2. Level 1 synopsis expanded 3 of 3. Titles in other languages 2 of 3 level 1. Demo te titles in other languages heading level 2. We can see that the PDF offers bookmarks on the left side. Let's open them. We press the F6 key until we reach the navigation pane. Find Tools button. Home button. Toolbar, star this file button. Navigation pane grouping, page thumbnails button. We use the arrow keys to go down to the bookmarks. Bookmarks button. We open them by pressing the Enter key. Using the Tab key, we enter the bookmarks. Tree view, Alice's adventures in Wonderland collapsed. By pressing the arrow keys up and down, we navigate between bookmarks. As bookmarks can be nested, we can expand and collapse them with the left and right arrow keys. Once we select a bookmark, we can position the NVDA reading cursor directly on the corresponding position in the document. Expanded Table of Characters Titles in Other Languages Synopsis Collapsed Expanded Chapter 1 Down the Rabbit Hole To switch back to the document, press F6 again. Document 1 slash 3 Heading Level 2 Titles in Other Languages Heading Level 1 Alice's Adventures in Wonderland As seen when navigating a web page, we can use the numeric keypad to navigate between lines using the numbers 7 and 9, between words using the numbers 4 and 6, and characters using the numbers 1 and 3. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, commonly shortened to Alice in Wonderland, is an 1865 novel. Written by English mathematician Charles Lutwich Dodgson under the pseudonym Lewis Carroll. By English mathematician Charles Lutwich Dodgson. O. D. G. S. O. N. Let's try to read a multilingual text. Table of Characters Heading Level 2 Titles in Other Languages Heading Level 2 List with three items English title, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland Deutscher Titel, Alice's Abenteuer im Wunderland Titre en Français, Aventure d'Alice au Pays des Merveilles this offers you a quick overview of how to use NVDA to check your PDF for accessibility. Feel free to learn more about NVDA and how to use it by reading the user guide. Other screen readers for Windows As previously discussed, there are commercial screen readers for the Windows platform. The world's most popular commercial screen reader is JAWS by Freedom Scientific. JAWS is short for Job Access with Speech. According to a user survey by WebAIM, 40% of survey participants used it as a primary screen reader, and 61% of participants used it often. JAWS is supported by all versions of Windows released since Vista. It offers different license models based on personal or commercial use. Other alternatives with a smaller market share are Dolphin Screen Reader by Dolphin, System Access by Serotech, Window Eyes by GW Micro. You can find the links for more information about these screen readers below the video. Where to continue? For a detailed description of Narrator or the NVDA screen reader, 
please read the user guides of these products. You can find the links to these guides below the video. In this chapter, you have learned how to use a screen reader using the Microsoft Windows 10 operating system. Depending on your personal interests, you could continue with one of the following chapters. Screen readers, Mac OS. Screen readers, Android. Screen readers, iOS. Accessibility. For more information, visit op.europa.eu slash en slash web slash accessibility.